Hey, how's it going guys? Rudy Linnell here, and I am really, really excited to get started on this new series. Okay, so we've been learning a whole ton of Python stuff, right? GTK, I mean, zip files, uh, subprocess, OS, dude, sys, everything is just freaking everywhere, and I can't control myself. Something that I'm really excited about now, though, is a cool new thing that I found online called Python Challenge. And uh, it's a website, you can see up in the URL bar, pythonchallenge.com. It's the first programming riddle on the net, or at least it likes to say that. I don't really know if it is, whatever. But the idea is, it's a bunch of a bunch of small little challenges or, or, or riddles that you can solve with Python. You can use you can really solve them with any language, but I mean Python is going to be easiest for us to work with. And uh, there are a few questions that really do require the use of Python. So uh, when I'm programming, when I'm trying to solve these, I'm only going to be looking for the answer. So the the memory allocation, or at least how much resources I'm really taking up, all of the programming practice that I usually try to encourage, I might be disregarding. I'm probably just going to be trying to whip out really quick, really simple, uh, not so much simple, but at least like the, the first born idea that comes to my mind, I'm going to whip that out. So it's not going to be profound or it's not going to be elegant. It, it might not be. It's just going to be a very raw solution that I'm going to come up with. You guys can follow along, you can brainstorm and do your own thing, but I'm going to try and simulate the real experience for you guys, or what I tried when I went through all this cool stuff. So, let's get started. Uh, I'm not going to go through a real big example here, um, but you can see there are a lot of people that have tried to do this um, since May 2005, so we can get started. Click here to get challenged, and that's going to take us to our first exercise. So we get this picture. And I don't know what this picture really is, right? <laughs> like, zero up at the top here. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here, but if I keep scrolling down, it says, hint, try to change the URL address. All right. So let's look at the URL address. Python challenge, blah, blah, blah. Recognize that we're at the zero.html file. Well, that's the number that we're at, right? Why don't we just increment that? Why don't we just add to it, try to get to a different location. Let's go up a level. Let's go one. That HTML. Hit enter. You can load this page. And it says two to the power of 38 is much larger. All right. What does that mean? So let's take it out. Let's go into a Python. Let's fire up a, an interpreter. And I'm just going to say two to the power of 38. And I get this huge number. And uh, I'm thinking if I'm following the same same rule of thought, the same rationale as we did, we can change this number to this number, and we'll get somewhere. And yeah, it looks like we did. Alright, cool. K to M, O to Q, E to G. Everybody thinks twice before solving this, and we have this massive mess down here. We have hints and tips, and we have lots of cool stuff that can help us figure this, these challenges out. So I'm going to leave you guys here for this video. Uh, I'll let you guys, I'll let this fester in your mind, and in the next tutorial we'll jump in and how I can solve this, and how you guys can follow along and do some cool stuff all by yourself. Alright, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're as excited about this series as I am, and I'll see you soon.